Welcome back guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the float type. So let's start our program. Stdio.h. Right, main. Program start with main as always. And now we want to print a value like 2.3 or any, any fractional thing with a decimal part. So let's float. We have to specify, specify the type of the data we are using. So we are using a float type and this is 3.4. Okay, this is 3.4 and as you know, it ends with a semicolon. Now we are printing it on screen. So print it on the screen. The value of X is percent F. Now, do keep in mind that in the previous video we used person d because it was for integer type when you use the float type you use f and there is an advantage of the float or the integer that you can use either just 3 or you can use 3.4 but you cannot do the same thing in integer type if you do 3.4 or some other fractional or decimal thing you will get an error now, what do I mean by this f percent f? You have to specify the variable you are referring to. So, what are we referring to? X variable. Okay. Now return zero. All right. Executed. Oh wow! We just wrote three point four, and we got three point four. Blah 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 blah. So many zeros. So how to reduce these zeros? So here you can write something like you can specify the length of your number. That what's what should be the length of your number. So you want one on the on the right side, on the left side, and you want three decimal decimal numbers. So you write 1.3 f percent 1.3 f. Okay, all right. So we got three on the decimal part and one on the whole part. Okay, so what kind of possible errors can you make here? You can either write person D here because you will see, you will say, oh wow, it's person D and it's not person F. Maybe they're the same. And wow, you got a very, 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 very random number. So make sure that you write that because it's not uh, the float type. It's not the integer type, it's the float type. Okay. You can write a capital X in here. As you all know that it's a case sensitive program. C is a case sensitive language. You cannot use small X instead of capital X or capital X instead of small X. So I write capital X. So let's see what I get. Oh, error. Error. X undeclared. First use in this function. Okay. So it says that it's undefined. It's undeclared. So this is an error. Do mind the difference of capital X and small x, the case sensitive part. And thanks for watching and do subscribe to our channel.